This is Millet, and today I'm going to show you how absolutely easy it is to cook and why it deserves a spot on your table. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook and today we are making millet. Now even if you've never cooked millet before you might still be familiar with it especially if you're into birds because well birds eat this stuff and it's often found in bird food but this is so much more than bird food or animal fodder. It really is a great nutritious grain that you should be eating. Now like some other grains I've covered on this channel like teff and quinoa, this is nothing new. This is an ancient grain I and mean, people, especially outside of the US, have been eating it for a long time. It's technically a seeded grass and it's still really popular in places like Africa and throughout Asia. But like I say, if you're not making this stuff already, it really does deserve a spot on your table. First of all, it's nutritious. It has protein, it has fiber, it has minerals like iron in it. So it's really packed with the good stuff. Another great thing about it, especially if you're like me and you're gluten-free is, well, it's gluten-free. Perhaps best of all, it is an absolute cinch to make. Uh, literally, if you can boil water, you can cook millet. It cooks really similarly to rice, and like rice, there are lots of different types of millet. And you might also hear it pronounced millets, because plural, I guess? Now the most popular type of millet, at least where I'm at in America, looks like this. It's kind of this golden color, and they are just these little tiny grains. They're similar to couscous in their size, but again, the great thing about millet, unlike couscous, is that this is gluten-free. Couscous is made with wheat, so that's a no-no for gluten-free folks, but millet, this is a great alternative to couscous. When shopping for millet in the store, you can usually find it on the aisle with the other grains, and if your store has a well-stocked bulk section, you might also find it there. And this stuff is pretty inexpensive. In my bulk section, it's only like $1.60 a pound, so it's a really good value too. Like rice and couscous, millet is something of a culinary canvas. It can pair with a lot of different foods. It can be great as a side, or you can dress it up with other things and maybe even have it as a nice main course. But that's kind of the background on millet. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make. So to do this, I'm using a two quart saucepan here, and make sure you have one with a lid. Okay, if you've ever made rice, this is gonna look very familiar because basically it's the same process. We are going to use two cups of water. We'll just pour this into our pot here and turn on the heat and bring this to a boil. And a little tip here, when you're bringing a pot of water to a boil like this, put the lid on because that's gonna make it go faster. All right, and just like that, our water is boiling and I have measured out one cup of millet. So we are just going to put this right in the pot. I'm also adding half a teaspoon of salt. That's gonna help enhance that flavor. Now we're just gonna give this a stir and bring this back to the boil. Now that it's back to the boil, we will put the lid on, turn this heat to low, and simmer for 20 minutes. It's been a quick 20 minutes. We've killed the heat. Now, before you take the lid off, let it rest for about five minutes or so. That's gonna let the rest of that water just reabsorb and for everything to just <sighs> breathe. Okay, let's take the lid off this and see how we did. Ah, oh, doesn't that look beautiful? We're just gonna give this a nice little fluff with a spoon and this looks absolutely perfect. Now, if you find that there's still too much water or some water left, that's okay, just drain that off. But usually this ratio of two cups of water to one cup of millet is gonna be perfect. 
Okay, here's how I like to put this together. We're just gonna scoop this into a bowl here. Doesn't this look wonderful? It is just steaming. It's kind of a kind of cloudy, kind of rainy out today. So this is just like a perfect healthy comfort food. And again, this would be great on its own, but I like to garnish it, kind of spruce it up a bit. And I'm gonna make more of a savory style. So we're just gonna take this garnish that I made of red onions, tomatoes, and parsley. And we'll just put it right on top here. And then finally, I also like to add a bit of olive oil. This is going to give it more of a nice, richer taste. And then finally, some fresh cracked pepper just right on top. And we have a beautiful bowl of millet. Let's test the fruits of our labors here. You can eat this with a fork, but I just kind of like to go at it right with a spoon. Mm. So millet is, it's kind of nutty but it's got this wholesome flavor and I love the texture because it's soft yet a little bit crunchy, just a little bit nutty. Mm, so good. So there you go. That is how to make millet. I would serve this warm and refrigerate any leftovers. It reheats really easily the next day. And again, it is just such a great side dish if you're looking for an alternative for the tried and true rice or if you want a really nice gluten-free grain. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, I hope you want to cook. 